Hi there, I'm Amanda Castor with Material Girl Quilts. This is week one of the Snowfall Sew Along. Over the next five weeks, we're gonna work together to create this beautiful snowfall quilt behind me. Now the blocks in this quilt are a traditional block that is called the Feathered Star Block. Now it's very intricate looking, it looks difficult, but I promise as we work together over the next five weeks, you will be able to get this done and I will show you all the tips and tricks to, get, to make it beautiful quilt. If four blocks intimidate you, or maybe you just don't want a full size quilt, you can work to just make one block and like this red and white quilt here and use it to, um, as a table topper or to hang on the wall. I promise wherever you put it, it's gonna get attention and lots of comments from your friends and family. So if you are new to the Snowfall Sew Along, you weren't sure about it and you just happened across this video on YouTube, if you'd like more information and to join us, you can find all the information for the Snowfall Sew Along on my website and the links are in the video description below. All you need to participate is you'll need to purchase the Snowfall Quilt Pattern, pick out whatever fabric you like and join us as we have fun. Now speaking of fabrics, let's talk a little bit about fabric selection. The two quilts behind me were made using Winterland, which is my latest fabric collection with Riley Blake Designs. And for the background fabric, I chose a solid white. Now you can obviously use whatever fabric you choose, um, your favorite colors, you can also, you can have all of your snowflakes be the same fabrics, you can have each one be different in the one, uh, the blue and white quilt behind me. I use, I had two snowflakes that matched in each um, opposite corners. You can do whatever you want. The pattern includes um, requirements for each snowflake, so that makes it easy if you would like to have all four of your snowflakes be in different fabrics to figure out exactly what you're gonna need for this quilt. Now, I wanna show you a couple of examples of layouts for this quilt. I will show you the red and white, as you see, uh, the blue and white with the white background, and then also, here's a sketch with the dark um, background and white snowflakes, and I think it's beautiful as well. So if you're still waiting for your fabric or you haven't yet decided exactly which fabric you'd like to use, no worries. This first week we're just focusing on cutting a fabric and piecing the first half square triangles, which can easily be made up um, next week or for, as we go along. Um, so in your pattern you'll see that for your background fabric and the example I'm going to be making for this sew along, I'm going to be making another one block quilt and I'm going to have white as the background and it's going to be similar to the snowflakes in this quilt. So in your pattern, I'm not going to discuss the sizes of the pieces that we're cutting, all that information is in your pattern, but for the background fabric, you will have four different sizes of squares that you cut. So you'll have the small ones and two different medium size and then your large um, square. Now for this largest square, you're supposed to also cross cut this square on both diagonals so that you will end up creating four different triangles. So we will do that now. And here are your four triangles. Now, out of all of your small um, background blocks, you will take eight of those and cross cut on just one of the diagonals. So I will do four at a time, because I have a nice sharp blade in my cutter, and make sure they're lined up well, and cross cut on one diagonal. And then you have those triangles, and we'll do four more to get all that we need done. Okay, so all of my background fabric has been cut now. So the next fabric we're gonna work on is for me, it's going to be this um, lighter blue fabric, and this is the main fabric within the snowflake. So it's not the points, it's the main snowflake fabric. Now, one of the things you'll need to do is cut 16 of the small squares, and I've already done that here. 
and then the other thing that you need to cut from this fabric is your from your template now in the pattern you have the this template a and it calls for cutting four left facing templates and four right facing templates so I want to show you if you have um, yardage that you're cutting from that's the example I'm using here and I'll show you how I cut mine so you'll see that it's two layers thick there's the width of fabric here and it's on the the fold is at the bottom I've, I already have a straight edge here because I had cut some squares from that before so when I'm cutting these templates what I like to do is um, I, I like to have the two layers because that way when you when you need the um, right facing and left facing you'll actually end up cutting both of those at the same time when you're cutting through both layers so what I'll do is line the template up against the straight edge of the fabric and then I will then line the ruler up it's just shy this template is just shy of four inches wide so I typically will just go ahead and cut a four inch strip make sure I'm lined up here and then you can line one edge of, side of your template up against the edge of the fabric and your ruler here on the diagonal edge and you can make sure that on your template now you can of course I just use the paper that's easy for me to work with you can um, get template plastic and trace this on the template plastic to create your template whatever works for you I like paper because then I can just put my um, ruler right over it it has the seam uh, line on you know drawn on the template so I can then line my ruler up the quarter inch mark on my ruler right on that line for the seam line and make sure that it's going to be straight so we will cut along this edge and then I cut this tip off here and you cut along all si sides sides excuse me of the template move this around of course now it's shifting for me right okay so now once you do that on two layers of fabric you will open them up and you'll see that you have one you know right facing and one left facing so you have both templates there and you repeat this um, to cut a total of four for each side so once I cut the first one I I flip my template over line it up on that same diagonal and also the straight edge on this side cut the remaining edges and this tip off here so there's two more of right facing and left facing templates so again you repeat this to create a total of um, four for each um, direction template and now we will cut from for me it's going to be this teal fabric and this is the fabric that um, is going to be the points of your snowflakes so what I want to show you on this is for this I have a fat quarter so if you're using fat quarters for your um, snowflake blocks that's fine you can easily use those as well you don't need a quarter yard or yardage you know with the width of fabric you can use fat quarters so what I'm going to do here first is straighten up these edges I want to I want to double up as I'm cutting again so I'm going to create a straight edge here and now I'll turn this so that I can cut now these strips and I am going to mention this um, the size of this strip because there's also 
some of the small squares um, of background fabric that you need it's like two and an eighth inches and I know that seems crazy um, two and an eighth it's kind of annoying to have to find that on your ruler but it's very important that you do cut at two and an eighth inches to make this come together nicely and make all of your points match the size that you cut and your seam allowance is very important for this So we will do two and an eighth inches. And cut. Now, the trick that I wanted to show you now goes for cutting of the diamonds. So in the pattern it has a diagram that you can follow along as well, but we need to cut these into diamonds. So you need to find, on my ruler here's, we, I have two 45 uh, degree lines so whatever ruler you're using I can link in the description of the video um, to this particular ruler if you like this option but you need to line it up so that you will cut off this extra but you line up your ruler the bottom of your strip along the 45 degree line and then we'll cut off this extra here to start our diamonds Okay, now we have the, the first edge of our diamonds cut, so we will then measure in on our ruler two and one eighths of an inch while we line up this 45 degree line on the bottom. So we have the 45 degree line on the bottom, or if you're a ruler, you may have to line it at the top, and then the two and one eighths inch along the edge of your fabric and cut and when you're finished with those diamonds this long edge should measure three inches so that'll give you an idea if you've done it properly so since we did two layers we cut two at a time and you'll just go along your strip here um, measuring over two and a quarter inches and continue until you make until you cut all eight diamonds that are needed line it up on the 45 degree line two and an eighth inches and there you go so that's how you cut the diamonds from the accent fabric on your snowflakes now from this fabric you're going to need to cut a few other um, squares and smaller squares and then one medium sized square to make the block now that you have all the fabric cut for your blocks, we're going to start piecing the half square triangles. So you will select the small um, squares of your main snowflake fabric and your background fabric and place them right sides together. And then you will, on the back of one of your squares, on the diagonal, draw a line on one diagonal. and then you will sew a scant quarter of an inch seam on either side of that line. So what that means is you'll sew just shy of a quarter of an inch on either side of the line as I've done here and once you've done that you will then cut directly on the line that you drew. And then you will have two half square triangles. Once um, I press these open, I press towards the dark fabric on my half square triangles. You will then trim to measure two and one eighths inch square. And you'll need a total of 32 half square triangles for each block. So your assignment this week is to select your fabric, start cutting, and go ahead and start piecing your half square triangles. And next week we're gonna work on the corner units for your blocks. If you're making the entire quilt, you can do all of this for all of your blocks, or if you wanna just start with one block and see how it goes and see what you're comfortable with, go ahead and just do one block to begin with and you can, after the sew along is done, you can make the rest of your blocks, it's up to you. This is a no pressure situation, I'm just so happy that you're joining along. And if you have any questions as we go, please feel free to list them in the um, comments below or on my website and I'll respond as soon as I can. And I thank you so much for joining me. Please bear with me as we go. This is my first YouTube sew along, but if I appreciate all of your feedback. If you think there's anything I should add or do to make it easier for you to understand, please let me know. Um, again, I can't wait to see you next week. Have a good one.